Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com A Mergent Split Mechanism for Dynamic Virtual Organization Formation in Grids Now we see about the abstract of our project Our main objective is to executing the job in grids using the GSP that means grids service provider The GSP have resources to execute the job Our aim to enable the GSP to organize into vivo reducing the cost of execution and guaranteeing the maximum profit for the GSP The GSP is nothing but in our basic concept the grid we have to sharing our resources in GSP in our project we have three resources resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 and each resources have a capacity for execution and cost for execution so if the incoming job is come into our process the GSP analyze the job and we have a checking that if the job is executed execution in resource or not if the capacity is available for execution the GSP allocate the job to available resources if the GSP cannot identify that the incoming job have not have capacity to execute our for job in our all the resources the GSP handle the job but not skip the job so he split the job and allocate the uh, job to each resources if the resources execute the splitted job and then we have matched the result to GSP now GSP execute the job with the minimum cost and maximize the profit we allocate the task to corresponding resources for processing if the resource capacity is not suitable for processing the particular job we have to split and executing sequentially and finally merge the result from all resources our process based on formation of BO have see about the flow diagram first we have select the job the job should be selected by user and then analyze the job if the analyze job is nothing but we have to analyze the uh, capacity of our incoming job and the file size and the file MB and file length and what type of files or what type of jobs it is and then resource analysis what type of resource that can be formed in virtual organization in GSP the resource capacity is static and we have uh, other capacity for executing the job and this is a process for GSP the, and then check availability if the job is uh, once incoming in our process the GSP check the availability for our uh, resources that means uh, if the job is uh, have handled to execute the available resource or not if the resource is available for executing the job the GSP allocated to corresponding resources and then complete the job if the resource have a not capacity not not availability is uh, find out if the GSP not skip the job if it then split the job and then allocated to all resources and each resources have handled the job and executed uh, sequentially and then process the job and completed and then uh, we have uh, send the result to GSP and the GSP then match the result and then the find out the, the job is completed and finally we have performance evolution is uh, involved we have evaluated the resource uh, capacity and analysis and execution time and cost we have finally we have uh, produced the result for maximize the process and minimize the execution time now we have run our project we have opened the netbin and click the home button to run the file first we have to click this image and then select your file that means select your job the job in our src and file and select the any one of the file if the file capacity is high the file is allocated to all the three resources if the file capacity is less it is allocated to corresponding resources if the, if the job, job matching and then is a file data this is a file name and file type which is a file content and then select next 
click show button this we have analyzed job that means a file name file size in kb and file extension and file length now we have to analyze the job is split or not that means if the job is executed execution in resource or not the find out the availability of resources and clicks we have resource 1 resource 2 resource 3 is needed for execute the job that means the job is heavy load there are no way to handle the job for single resources and then the file should be split as x1 x2 and x3 dot as text file and then connect server and click the file data before we have start process we have run the server server to java server to run java is executing click start server button and then minimized we have clicked the start process now our process is connected to gsp the server is nothing but it is a gsp the service provider and then click the view data our input file is uh, goes to gsp then click the encryption and decryption and enter the path for encrypted and decrypted file now the encryption and decryption path is nothing but this is the output file where to store and click encryption decryption and click the task perform now the resource one is ready to start the process for encryption and decryption now we have implement the aes encryption for uh, used for encrypted and decrypted now encrypted file is created decrypted file is also created now resource 1 complete the job the resource 2 will come into our process and start the encryption and decryption here also we have implemented the AES encryption and decryption and we have generated the key automatically and decrypt the job and encrypt the job now resource 3 is come into our process for encryption and decryption now all the resources are executing the job successfully sir, and with the, with the overall time now we have give the result file for uh, this processor and uh, if the file is split we have click this button if the file is allocated to corresponding resources we have click the process report button the process report button have give the detail about the particular resources who executing the particular job now our job is split so i will click uh, split file info this is the original file this is split file for uh, for all resources and then is a process report for resource 1, resource 2 and resource 3 and I click the resource capacity the resource capacity for resource 1, resource 2 and resource 3 whatever the capacity for uh, available for, for our GSP and then uh, resource per second uh, in our job how it will be executed uh, in which time and how much we, we should execute the job uh, and then splitted file name and the file name should be splitted in our resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 is a process start time and is a process end time for all resources like resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 and then is a overall process time we have computed by process end time minus process start time now our process end time for resource 1 is 16 nanosecond and the resource 2 is 11 nanosecond and resource 3 is 10 nanoseconds and the cost the overall cost for executing up for resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 1272 pounds and resource 3500 pounds and we have clicked the overall cost the overall cost can be executed in GSP it is a comparison graph for processing the cost and uh, the existing system it is our proposed system our existing system is uh, a very accuracy not than our proposed system it has efficiency less efficiency than our proposed system and the graph 2 is a graph 2 process this graph provide the resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 process time how much the each resource have executing our given job so this provide the very accuracy result for executing our uh, jobs 
and finally the graph to provide the comparison for resource for processing the cost how much cost they executed in our to job so resource one resource to resource two. in our process resource one have execute the less cost and resource two then and resource three the comparison graph for our processing with the cost so this is the overall process for our uh, project and finally we have executed the all the job with the minimize minimize the uh, execution time and maximize the profit we have provide the efficiency and the accuracy for our results thank you